What is going on guys and girls? My name is James. Welcome back today to Roblox. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back. Welcome back. Today of course it is time to jump back into the one, the only Beast Swarm Simulator. We find ourselves in the test realm. We also find ourselves on the 20th of December. We potentially have five whole days left until Beesmus is officially out and updated. I think today is a good time to talk about what's happening. <laughs> what Honor is currently working on. I've got a bunch of things that he said which are really interesting and there's a few things that i haven't even tried yet inside the test realm what is this guy's hive <laughs> nice oh mr radby's gone how sad i'll tell you what we're gonna take his spot three two one claim the hive yeah welcome back everybody hopefully you guys and girls are doing amazing where's all my stickers gone Oh, okay. That's interesting. So there's something about stickers that we're going to talk about in just a sec. Um, but I want to try it out. And I don't think it's going to work in the test realm. But I have access to on its super secret server. So I'm thinking it might work in there. Uh, anyway, first things first. Where are you, Mr. Fungus? There he is. There he is. Um, so yeah, I <laughs> just went and had a look on the previous episode. As we do before every single Beast Swarm episode. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, goals have been smashed. Thank Thank you so much. Amazing. So fun. Like, I feel like there's genuine Beesmus hype and excitement for this update. Uh, and it's really cool just to kind of share it in videos with you guys. So I'm really happy that you're all enjoying it. Um, I think we set like 2,000 in the, the, the like goal. And I think we're already like over 3,000. It's like 3,100. So incredible. Thank you so much. Um, don't know what to set today. Should we crank it up a little bit for the culture, for the bees? Uh, let's go 2,200. Yeah, that would be cool. Thank you so much. Let's go. Right, okay, so yeah, as I kind of mentioned, um, there's got five days to go. So I think officially this is sort of on it in slight panic mode right now. There is still so, so much to do. And you've got to remember as well uh, that Onnit is currently working on uh, the trading and the stickers and all of that stuff. But he has yet to implement all of the normal Beesmus stuff into the game and then tie all of that in <laughs> with the Bee Bear NPC and all the various NPCs for all of the stuff that already exists. So you've got to remember, like, every time Onnit does, like, a Beesmus, all of that old stuff has to come back, but it all has to have like new storylines and stuff um so there is a lot for him still to do i think there's going to be a lot of quests that he's going to have to be writing uh but this is a great opportunity to kind of just catch up on a few things that he said um and yeah let's check this out hang on let me go and find him right here we go here we go okay oh yeah actually very very quickly um as i see like on my videos i have my little star code thing popping up every single time uh, i like to just ask this every single beesmus basically but obviously when um the game updates and we get like all of the big expensive robuxy pack things in uh, if any of you guys are considering getting some robux over the festive period or you might get some robux for like a christmas present or something um if you would consider using my star code when redeeming them that would be amazing uh, it doesn't cost anything actually whatsoever but it does like directly support the channel i know there are so many different creators and there's so many star codes to use um but yeah if you if you would consider using mine that would be really really great thank you very much to anyone who does if you do please just like tweet me and send me a picture or something i'd love to say thank you to you uh because it's really cool anyway right this is a bit of a long one so there's like three of these in total i'm gonna fly through them though so this is the first message of three talking about what's happening what will happen and all that jazz so uh this is on it here saying that i'm gonna open the test drum in a bit this was like yesterday today and these are the things that i'm concerned about number one trading this is the main thing making sure it's secure and saving your items and preventing duping two session locking should help prevent data loss but may still have issues if you notice the game taking forever to load this may be why do you guys remember the last episode when the game was taking so long to load up i'm guessing this is a session lock problem whatever that is <laughs> uh the hive hub map the game has been reworked to allow for teleporting to different spaces, uh, places, but this may still be buggy. Game may still lag with so many players, even with no bees, and I may have overlooked some systems that expect uh that expect a smaller player size. So the size of the hub map, maybe if Onyx can't fix it, maybe it'll have to be reduced. I still think 45 players is a lot of players. So I could imagine it going down to maybe like 30, but it would be a shame. Uh, he also says here, reworked the collector system. You'll not notice a visual difference, but the tools no longer use Roblox classic tools. And there may be occasionally still be issues with this. Okay, and then stickers, making sure the mechanics work in general. Most of the ways to obtain stickers should be working, but if not, let me know. Okay, cool. So speaking of stickers, <laughs> there's this really, really cool um, thing, which I'll talk about in a second. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's talk about this now. So 
Uh, as I'm sure like you've seen, when you go around the map and stuff, you just have like random stickers and stuff stuck onto the walls. And of course you can click them and then you can keep them or discard them or whatever. Um, but I actually said this, and I thought this was really interesting. It says here, um, hidden stickers are unique to each player. And they load every day and despawn after a week if not found. Uh, same that same uh, for why there are so many hidden stickers around the map, usually only spawn around five per day. So, stickers that spawn in your world in a multiplayer server are in random locations and they're unique just to you? Is that what he's saying? I think that's kind of insane. So the thing is, like, I was thinking about doing, like, a, a location video for, like, where the, the stickers may be, hidden ones may be stuck. But if they're all different for every single player, then that's going to be a useless video, isn't it? But it sounds like they all spawn on, like, you know in the background and then they have a despawn time so <laughs> i guess like every single time you load into beast Swarm simulator chances are you're gonna want to have a little treasure hunt because there might be some stickers on the walls is that what he means if so i think that's pretty cool because you know there are like sort of really really sneaky little spaces and stuff like right here there's like a little dog dog but i seem to remember a couple of days ago that was a barcode um so i'm guessing yeah they are spawning and despawning pretty much you know, in secret areas, but I'm also curious, like, would they ever be spawning? Yeah, see, look, there's even things on, like, the sides of buildings and <laughs> just, like, really sneaky little locations. Do they spawn inside buildings or just externally? I reckon it might be external, you know, but then again, yeah, look, they're even around the back here. Huh. And here? <laughs> We're gonna have to go on treasure hunts. See, I thought I'd mention that because the whole notion of all of the stickers being unique to, like, players in general, I think is really, really cool. Speaking of stickers, I, we're going to read something in a second, and then I want to jump into that on its super secret world that I have um, to try something out, um, which would be interesting. But yeah, next up here on it says, these are the current known issues that he's experiencing inside the test realm and the update so far. Uh, the wealth clock timer resets when teleporting between the main game and the hive hub, <laughs> which obviously is going to be a bit of an issue if you've got, like, a full wealth clock, you go to the hive if you come back, boom, it just completely stops. Um, many visuals are not implemented. The sticker planter looks like a ticket planter. Uh, sticker sprouts look like festive sprouts. And nectar condenser looks like a nectar pot. A nectar condenser? Nectar pots, nectar con Nectar condenser? I mean, I know the nectar pot where you can store your nectar in, but what's a nectar condenser? Okay, look, nectar condenser, but, oh, you can, once a day, you may convert 12 hours of nectar type into a nectar vial, which stores 12 hours of nectar, four hours of nectar permanently. Oh, so you can bottle your own nectar? Is this a thing that already exists, or have I just completely missed this? Or is this new? Because <laughs> I, I very ever rarely go to my, my nectar pot. Is this a new thing? So you can convert your 12 hours of a nectar type into a nectar vial, which stores four hours of nectar permanently. So it's a way to, like, take your built-up nectar and bottle it? Have I missed this? Am I going mad? <laughs> I can't remember anymore. Is this a thing? I, I swear we don't have that, but I, I genuinely could be wrong. Huh, okay. Anyway, carrying on, carrying on, carrying on. Uh, the next thing here is the sticker seeker mentioned in the sticker index is not implemented yet. More about the sticker seeker in just a second. Uh, he says here that you cannot currently convert pollen in the hive hub as you don't have any bees. I plan to implement an alternative way to convert in there. But for now, the mega boost buff will give 100% hub field conversion. Okay, uh, your bees will not attack the stick bug, coconut crab, stump snail, mondo chick, or commando chick during the robo bear challenge. This is not a bug, but an intended change. And then it says player names can be difficult to read on the hives. I plan to change the visuals to help a bit. Um, so yeah, something about the sticker seeker, which on it mentioned here. So I think we may have been the one to like sort of leak that accidentally just because I read a description and it said the sticker seeker out of nowhere. And I was like, well, what is this? Is this a brand new collector? Turns out we were correct. So on it here says that the sticker seeker is planned to be a special collector with a higher rate of finding stickers in fields. It will have a little machine associated with it that will have sticker related quests that reward rare stickers. So yeah, brand new collector confirmed. But it's interesting because people use the collector based off their meta. So, you know, blue hive, red hive, 
gummy baller, you know, that kind of stuff. So what's the, the sticker seeker going to be like? You're going to have to keep changing it just because you want to find stickers. Is it going to be good to just use in general? Does it make the other collectors kind of rubbish? Like, I don't know. Is it going to be an end game collector or is it going to be an early game collector? I think it would have to be an early game collector. But then if you have it, is it going to scale? Hmm, interesting. And then we just have a few bits and pieces here uh, that will be different in the main game as uh, the test realm. Obviously, the test realm is a bit chaotic right now. I want to try something out in a second with that puff shroom over there with my planter. Um, but he says here that the sticker sprout will spawn every three hours as opposed to every 30 minutes, which is a change which uh, we already mentioned previously. Uh, the sticker printer will have a cooldown of one hour. Uh, it's reduced for testing. The public sticker board will have a daily claim cooldown versus 20 minutes for testing. As I said in yesterday's episode, if the public sticker board actually makes it, I'll be very surprised. <laughs> um, there will be a, a, a way fewer hidden stickers spawned. Um, these respawn daily in random locations and more spawn based on how many bees you have. Ah! So the more bees you have, the maximum hive, the more stickers you'll have spawning in your world. So if you're a new player, you probably won't see too many of them. But then again, you can only get to certain areas of the map anyway. Um, so yeah, the more bees you have, more stickers you'll get on a daily basis. I really like that, actually. I think the sticker spawning is kind of fun. Um, he says here there will be a limit to how many stickers that will be placed on a hive, most likely 50. This is something I want to test in the other world. Um, the bees' rarity uh, specific pollen stats, like uh, rare bee pollen, are not working. The daily leaderboard rewards are not working. The sticker index um, has many other menus that will arrange the stickers in a way that makes more sense. Uh, and the new badges, the amounts and stats and placeholders, probably lots of other things. You can kind of tell on it has an awful lot of work to do um it's five days <laughs> it's five days until beesmas we are just getting into like the trading areas um and the hub is open but we have none of the other beesmas stuff right now we've got no quests no npcs no nothing so uh yeah it's gonna be a big old grind come on on it lad you got this you got this Oh no! Okay, okay, so yeah, here's, um, oh, <laughs> one bee bear egg. Uh, this is, um, the secret world that Onyx gave me, but I've got a horrible feeling it's just been updated. Um, so I think, oh no, I was gonna, I was gonna test something to do with the stickers, but now I think I may have all had, yeah, I've had all my stickers taken away from me. <laughs> See, what I wanted to try and do, right, is... Okay, I shouldn't have walked into these. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, what are these? Boom, boom, boom. Uh, bee quips. Okay, we, yeah, we've already done bee quips. Um, yeah, what I wanted to do, which we can't do right now, but that's okay, is... Have you ever seen, like, on the sides of, like... We don't really get them very often, but, like, it's kind of like a skateboardy thing. Not that I'm as much of a skateboarder. I used to when I was a kid and I was rubbish. Um, like, loads of stickers, like, all stuck on top of each other. What I wanted to try and do... Let me try... I'm gonna have to go back to the other world, but I wanted to see, like, if there was no sticker limit in this world, if I could just, like, completely cover the hive in stickers and have no gap showing um which we could test out actually in the other world let me swap back okay i have a few stickers but i tell you what i'll do apparently um getting stickers from puff shrooms is, is really easy right now like because the rates are ridiculous um ooh, big 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 old puffy okay so do we get any spawning from the actual shrooms themselves let's uh, empty our backpack and let's give it a go apparently like a bunch of them spawn i was just seeing if like you can get any stickers from just claiming them but it doesn't seem to be. It just seems to be a collection of waxes and stuff. Anyway, let's go and pop this bad boy. Let's see what happens. You know, when claiming a puff shroom, it might actually help to claim the hive. <laughs> As you're running around it with a collector, like, why is this so slow? <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so I just did, like, a couple of minutes worth of puff shrooms. Um, and I got four stickers from it. So this is going to be a lot more than you would normally get in it. I was expecting, like, to get tons of them, but I only actually got four, <laughs> which is fine. Uh, what I want to do to try and test this out is I'm just going to go and peel off as many stickers as I can possibly carry. Uh, unfortunately, I think the test run now has a maximum of 50 stickers um, per hive. But we can at least try, like, one section so you can kind of see what I'm going on about. Uh, I, I wish I would have tested it like when I had the chance, when it was like unlimited, but I only just thought about it today, so... Uh, actually, you know what? I might have enough. Let me grab these little bug boys. Uh, close, and then let's go with you, and you. Thank you. I guess I can just try it on this side, so bear with. This may take... may take a little bit of time, actually. Um, and it may look completely rubbish, <laughs> just as an FYI. <laughs> but, uh, oh jeez, I've already ruined it. I've already ruined it. Send help. Worst idea ever. It looks rubbish. 
<laughs> you know what? It's 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 a nice idea in theory. Maybe you understand what I was trying to get at, but like you can't quite do it because you can't see like where the sticker is gonna go. If that makes any sense. Um, so you can like overlap them all like crazy, but it's sort of you accidentally hide them. So this this was a terrible idea. Uh, don't do this. <laughs> the good news is I could just peel them all off again, which is kind of nice. I was trying to make like a cool sticker collage. It's gone wrong. It looks awful. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Problem is as well, you like cover up all the cool ones by accident. Um, I guess you can kind of kind of see what I was trying to do. <laughs> this is not one of my better ideas. <laughs> Oh jeez, we're, we're committed now, we might as well finish it. Actually, you know what, the more I look at it, the more it's not awful, but it's not great, is it? Um, but could you imagine, like, this is what I wanted to try, I wanted to do, like, the entire hive and the base with just, like, multi-layered stickers like this. Um, yeah, don't do this, I think it looks a lot better like this, just sort of <laughs> spaced out. <laughs> then again, the more I look at it, the less I hate it. I don't know, maybe I'm just going mad. Maybe maybe it does look cool, maybe it just looks rubbish. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to do it, because there's a maximum of 50. So, um, yeah, that's all you're ever going to get on the hive. So it's probably to stop this, because if everyone did this, you'd have, like, 10,000 stickers loaded into one server. So, eh, I don't hate it, actually. I don't quite like it. Anyway, uh, stickers aside, um, that's going to be about it, unfortunately, for this episode. However, as you can see, news, updates, all that stuff is coming thick and fast. So I'm sure I will see you guys very, very soon. And until then, thanks. And see ya.